my neighbor right here was knocking on the uh, on the wall right there. It was Sunday afternoon when Donovan Garden heard calls for help coming from Kevin Gearhart's brother in their village green neighborhood. I got up as fast as I could, got the boots on, ran into the house, made uh, and I, uh, you know, went to go check on him and stuff. He says Gearhart seemed to be having a heat stroke inside of his home. Kind of felt like I walked into an oven. Yeah, it felt like 20 degrees more than it you know, usually should be. He wasn't sweating at all, and that's a sign of uh, uh, heat stroke. Garden called 911. Medics took Gearhart to a hospital where he later died. The Sacramento County Coroner's Office confirmed his death was heat related. It seems like a senseless death. His mother, Marilyn Sellers, lives in the Los Angeles area. She says Gearhart and his brother didn't have air conditioning inside of their home. He needed to have someplace else to go in the heat wave, and he didn't. Now, her message after losing her son dangerous heat should be taken seriously. Don't not take it seriously. When they tell you it's going to be a, over 102, 105, take some precautions. If you don't have air conditioning, get out and go someplace where there is because this is serious. She hopes his story can help to save other people. And UC Davis Health says it's important to look out for signs of heat stroke. Some of those if a person stops sweating and starts to get chills, even though their internal temperature is high, they might also be confused or agitated and have blurry vision. If this happens, they say have the person lie down and call 911.